Hello everybody. I, my name is Tony Sizemore. I'm the owner of Head Bites. And I know this is an unusual way to start off um, one of my educational videos. I just wanted a few seconds of your time. Um, I've been down for a little while, um, health-wise. I've had uh, shingles and a bad flu in my left lung caused pneumonia. And it pretty much put me out of commission between the two for almost two months during the month of June and July. So I'm just now getting my health back to the point where I've made a full recovery, everything's fine. But mainly, there was four people, four customers, whose heads were here during this time. And I just wanted to say thank you for being understanding and helpful, staying in communication with me while I went through this. I'm 53 years old. I just turned 53 a few days ago. And um, I've pretty much never been sick my whole life. But, you know, we get older, things happen, and I couldn't believe it happened right here when I was in the middle of doing something I, I have wanted to do my whole life, which is share my secrets, the stuff that I've learned to a point, and show y'all these things of my life. So I'm glad you guys stuck with me. For the four of you that, who had things here, of course you already know I've told you, you all got upgraded a stage from a, whatever it was that you had to the next stage up, plus some pretty heavy discounts on parts and some of them even free. I tried to do everything I could within the budget. Of course, you know, not having medical insurance uh, um, or practically no medical insurance, if you want to call it that, is not easy. But it can happen to you, and it can happen right when you're in your prime, right when you think you got a grip on it. So I just want to say thank you for standing by me, being supportive, and man, if we got the projects to do during this time, We've accumulated some pretty neat stuff. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to do two sets of Pro Comp cylinder heads, the two tens, which everybody's been wanting to see the two tens in a stage four, uh, followed with the finish up of the FE Ford heads, Project Holder Boulders 305, and then uh, the, we're going to big blocks to the 345 salt heads. If you'll notice during this time that I was ill, uh, I haven't posted anything on uh, my website or on YouTube for almost two months. So this is the first mini. I'm going to be splitting this up in a different format. We're going to be working on the pro comps, and then we'll be working on uh, the assault heads, back and forth with Holder Boulder. I'm trying best I can to appease everybody, to give them as much time as they can. Um, gonna be some long days here. I figured it's gonna take me about a month or so, but everybody that's sticking with me, bear there, you're gonna get a lot more than what you paid for. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna learn a lot of stuff, and you're gonna see everything done on your projects just like we talked about. So anyway, I just wanted to take that minute just to thank everybody and to let y'all know I'm back, I'm ready to get going, and we have got a lot of stuff to do. All right, let's focus on these uh, pro comps right now. Let me get the camera set up and show you what we got. All right, what we got here is double trouble. <laughs> these two sets of heads belong to two people in Denmark. I, you know, geographically speaking, I mean, I know that Denmark isn't Germany, but they're real close, so I kind of related them together. But one set's for Peter, and the other set is for John. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these into a set of stage four killers. I'll be doing both heads at the same time, which that makes for a lot better consistency. Always remember that when you're doing this, if you ever have a situation where you can do two pairs of heads that have the mods that are identical, you are so much better off to do them side by side because what it will do, because you're making each cut and each port in a certain position, it makes them so much more equal and precise. That's, it has for me anyway. So 
uh, the main difference between the 190 and the 210s that I have seen is that the 210s are a raised runner cylinder head. Okay. Um, looks like it should be a bit taller here. I haven't put the Brzezinski plate on it yet. But let's go ahead and start now. We're going to take the Brzezinski plate. We're going to blue the heads in. Dock them and see what all... And what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to make an unusual mixture out of a 190cc Pro Comp using 1206 Felpro imprint. Uh, the engine originally is going on a 350 cubic inch, but later will be used on a 383 on one pair. Therefore, I'm going to set both of them up for the same ports, uh, which are 350 cubic inches. But we want a little more out of them than the 1205 Felpro. So we're going to raise the roof and do some other mods. This is unlike the 190ccs that I've done a while back that was for a 327 cubic inch motor. And that our window is going to be a lot bigger uh, than the 1205 print. So the two things that are different in this deal is going to be the 1206 entrance raising of the roof also going to a 205 160 valve now the sole reason we're going to a 205 valve you're going to see here shortly is to get rid of this awful hump underneath the seat in the head where it makes a transition of the bowl which can cost a lot of CFM it's just totally wrong underneath there but first let's get some close-ups of the Brzezinski plate and the, the Felpro 1206 gasket because it's got some alignment issues that I wanted to bring into focus here, okay?